Hi, welcome back to Snowdonia Stitches and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to make a giant panda plushie. So before we begin I'll just run through the pattern details so you can gather everything you need. The pattern is actually written in US terminology and it's from a blog post by Clover. So the materials you'll need is a 10 millimeter crochet hook obviously that may need adjusting depending on what size yarn you choose to use jumbo size 7 chenille yarn in black so you need 170 grams of black and you'll also need white and you'll need 267 grams and they are using sweet snuggles yarn by loops and thread okay i'm in the uk and i cannot get hold of that yarn the closest i could find was this giant soft touch um, from the range it's actually their own make um, in this range they don't do a black hence why my panda was not black and white it was a variegated of blue white and green and the white but that's okay um, use whatever you can get hold of it's there's no right or wrong you'll also need a pair of sharp scissors a darning needle your stuffing 24 millimeter safety eyes um, black felt for the eyes and nose and hot glue Obviously you would have seen from my panda, I opted to make my own crochet eyes. I will include my how I done my eyes within this tutorial for you in case you want to follow that pattern. Um, or if you want to do the original pattern and cut out black felt for the eyes and nose and attach with hot glue, by all means do that. It's just personal preference. Um, the terms we're gonna be using to make the project, it's a nice, simple project really. Um, good for beginners. You're going to be using chain, you're going to be using um, back loop only. In some parts you're going to be doing the invisible decrease, you, we will be increasing and your single crochet and slip stitch. Okay and we will be working in the round. So gather all your materials and let's get started. Okay so I've gathered all my materials now. The only addition I've added are a couple of stitch markers um, we're going to be working in the round so it's really handy to mark the beginning of each round um, so if you have them go and grab them if you don't you can always use an alternative piece of coloured yarn to mark the beginning of each round so let's begin round one we're going to be starting on the head of our panda so round one asks us to chain 13 okay if you're using the same yarn as me or very similar I would suggest you work quite slowly because it's quite tricky to see your stitches with this. It's very, very fluffy. Okay, so let's chain our 13. So one. And for this, I am actually going to place a stitch marker in stitch, well, chain one. Okay, you'll see why later. So feel free if you've got a spare stitch marker and you're beginner to crochet, just pop a stitch marker in your chain one. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, so now it asks us to single crochet into the second from hook. So one, two, so this will be our first chain that we were going into. And we're going to make 10 single crochet back down our chain. So one and at this point just grab your other stitch marker and pop it in there just so you know that's the beginning of your 10 single crochet working back down the chain. So one, two, three, Okay, and then you should find that that brings you to your chain with the stitch marker in. 
and it's in this chain that we are now going to place three single crochet okay so let's just take the stitch marker out so we know we're in the right place we've done our 10 single crochet down the chain and now we're going to place three single crochet in that last chain one two so we're working to the same stitch remember and three so that's three single crochet into the same stitch okay so now we're going to continue to work on the underside of our chain so just move that tail out of the way and you're going to come around this side and work 10 single crochet down the underside of the chain so one two three Four, five, six, seven. Let's do that one again. Eight, nine and 10 okay so as you can see your stitches are very hard to find so just take your time okay so that's our 10 single crochet back down the chain and um, now what we're going to do is pop two single crochet into the next stitch so that's our first single crochet and then we're going to pop a second single crochet into that same stitch Okay, uh, into the next stitch, we are going to pop a slip stitch. Okay, and that finishes round one. So moving on to round two, it asks us to do 10 single crochet, followed by increase into the next three stitches. And it wants us to repeat that twice. Okay, so at the end of round one, you should have 26 stitches. Um, at the end of round two, we're going to have 32 stitches. Okay, so to begin round two, let's take our stitch marker out. And let's begin placing our 10 single crochet. So that's one. I'm just going to pop my stitch marker back in to mark the beginning of the round. Okay. We're going to continue working down for another nine single crochets. Okay, so that's our 10 single crochets. Okay, and in the next stitch, we are going to do a increase. So we're going to place two single crochets into the same stitch. So that's our first single crochet. And into the same stitch, we're gonna place another single crochet. And again, in the next stitch is an increase. So we're going to need to place two single crochets into this stitch. One, two. Okay, and again, in the next stitch, we need to place another two single crochets. So that's one and two. Okay, so now we have our 10 single crochets followed by three increases okay and uh, the pattern asks us to repeat that again so we need to place 10 single crochet followed by our three increases so one two let's get some more yarn
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and now we are at the point where we need to do our three increases. Okay, so in the next stitch, we're going to place two single crochet. So one and two. In the next stitch, we're going to place two single crochet. One, two. And again, in the next stitch, we're going to place two single crochet. One and two. Two. Okay, and that completes the end of round two. Okay, so moving on to round three now, it's asking us to do 10 single crochet, followed by a single crochet, followed by an increase. And it wants us to repeat that pattern of single crochet and increase three times. And then it wants us to repeat the whole process of the 10 single crochet and the two single crochet increase repeats three times. OK, so I'll talk you through it step by step. I know it sounds a bit overwhelming um, for those of you who find patterns difficult to read. These brackets and things can be quite confusing. So we'll place our first double crochet into the first stitch of the next round. And don't forget to place our stitch marker to mark the beginning of our round three. OK, so go ahead and continue until you've placed your 10 single crochet. So we've done one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oops, ten, okay. So we've done our ten single crochet. Now we're coming to the part, if you're reading the pattern along with me, in the brackets. So it's asking us for the single crochet and the next stitch we're going to increase. So one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the following stitch. OK, and then we need to repeat that two more times. So place one single crochet and in the next stitch, two single crochet. OK, in the next stitch, one single crochet followed by two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, now we're back to repeating the whole part of that round. So we need to go back to our 10 single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and now we're back to the brackets of the single crochet and the increase three times. So one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet followed by one single crochet. Uh, in the very last stitch is our last increase, so two double crochet. And that is the end of round three. Okay, so you should have something starting to look like this. So you can see the shape starting to take place. That's going to be the front of the panda's head and it's going to start growing backwards into the body. Okay, so now moving on to round four. Well, first of all, it's asking us to do 10 single crochet, but this time it's for asking us to do two single crochet followed by an increase. And we're to repeat that two single crochet and increase three times, and then we're going to repeat the whole process again. And that will leave us with a stitch count of 44. So at the end of round three, we finished with a stitch count of 38. After this round, we're going to finish with a stitch count of 44. 
So let's begin by placing our 10 single crochet. So one, I'm just gonna pop my stitch marker back in to mark the beginning of the round. Okay, I'm just gonna get some more yarn. Okay, so that was the first one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now we're coming to two single crochet followed by an increase. So one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by another single crochet in the next stitch, followed by two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and we're gonna repeat that again. So in the next stitch, one single crochet, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by two single crochet in the next. Okay, and we need to repeat that one more time. So I'm just gonna get some more yarn. So one single crochet, followed by another single crochet, onto my hook. Okay, followed by two single crochet in the next stitch. So one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, and now we're back to our 10 single crochet. So go ahead and place those in next. So it's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay, uh, now we're back to the brackets where it's asking us to do the two single crochet and the increase three times. Okay, so in the next stitch, single crochet. In the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch is our increase so we're going to place two single crochet one two in the same stitch in the next stitch one single crochet in the next one single crochet in the next two single crochet okay i'm going to repeat that pattern once more so one single crochet followed by another single crochet in the next stitch, followed by our increase, so that's our two single crochet in the last stitch. So one, and another one, another single crochet in the same stitch. And that brings us to the end of round four. So at the end of round four, you now have a stitch count of 44 stitches. And moving on to round five, is asking us to place 10 single crochet, followed by three single crochet followed by an increase and it wants to repeat the pattern of the three single crochet and increase three times. So let's begin with our 10 single crochet. Okay, it's our first single crochet and just replace the stitch marker so we know it's the beginning of the round. Okay, so that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now written in the brackets is the three single crochet followed by the increase. Okay, so place our three single crochet so one in the next stitch another one and the next stitch another single crochet 
and in the next stitch is our increase so we're placing two single crochet into that same stitch one two and then three single crochet one two three in the next stitch two single crochet one two followed by another three single crochet one two and three followed by an increase okay and now it wants to repeat the whole process from the beginning again so we start with our 10 single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and last one ten and now we're back to our repeat rounds so three single crochet one two and three followed by an increase two single crochet into the same stitch followed by three single crochet one two three followed by our increase one two single crochet in the next stitch followed by three single crochet one two and three and in our very last stitch we place our last increase so that's our two single crochet into the last stitch and that brings us to the end of round five and uh, there you should have a stitch count of 50. So now you have a stitch count of 50 and we're now moving on to round six. So to begin round six is asking us to do 10 single crochet to start. So let's remove our stitch marker and place our first single crochet there and remembering to pop our stitch marker back in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Now it's asking us in brackets to do four single crochet followed by an increase and it wants us to repeat that pattern three times. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Uh, now that we're up to our increase, so we need to pop our two single crochet in the next stitch. Uh, we're going to do four single crochet in the following stitches, one single crochet in each. So one, two, three, and four followed by two single crochet in the next stitch. One, two, followed by four single crochet and an increase. So one, two, three, and four, followed by an increase in the next stitch. That's two single crochets into the same stitch. Okay, and now it's asking us to repeat the pattern again from starting from our 10 single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. That brings us back up to the brackets of the four single crochet followed by the increase. Okay, so one, two, 
three, oops, three and four, followed by the increase, one and another one in the same stitch, followed by another four single crochet, one, two, three and four, followed by our increase. So we'll place two single crochet into the next stitch, one and our second one there, followed by four single crochet, one, two, three and four, followed by an increase in the very last stitch of round six. Oops, it's close to my binder. That's it. Okay, um, so we finish on our increase, and um, that's the end of round six with a stitch count of 56. Now, moving on to round seven, this is where the fun begins now, and it gets a little bit easy, and we can just enjoy it. So for the next five rounds, round seven to 11, we are gonna single crochet every stitch around. Um, no increases, just single crochet. Okay, so I'll do round seven with you. So remove the stitch marker and place your first single crochet into the beginning of round seven. Don't forget to replace your marker. Okay, and we are simply gonna single crochet into every stitch around, keeping our stitch count of 56. brings us to the end of round seven now. So continue working for another four rounds in exactly the same way, single crochet in every stitch, keeping the stitch count of 56. And join me in part two of how to make the plushy panda.